Hello and welcome to another review here on the channel Vienna Gamer and today we will be taking a look at this cardboard box. Actually it's from Buffalo and it's a classic USB gamepad. Well this is the cardboard box it comes in and this thing runs on practically anything. Hold on, just want to get the camera to focus. So Windows ME, Windows 2000, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. So if you have anything from Windows Millennium upwards, this thing is going to work on it. The uh, packaging is not that interesting. It's all Japanese except for this uh, 1.8 meter. That's how long the cable is, which is good to know. But everything else, fuck it. This is the Buffalo Classic USB gamepad. Basically a, Nintendo's, a Super Nintendo controller with a USB lead. So you can plug this into the computer and play emulators on it or even modern games if they don't need too many buttons. Now this is the third time I make this video because the first time I uh, looked shit, the second time I thought my controller was broken and the third time the audio was shit. So I hope that works better now. I don't want to record this again. Yeah, basically it's a Super Nintendo controller. Uh, nice D-pad. Start and select are good too. The buttons are nice. The shoulder buttons feel a bit mushy, but they work, so it doesn't really matter. You can actually hear the contact a little. So, yeah, they work perfectly. Uh, apparently, my USB extension cable on my computer is broken or worn out, or it's just simply shit. Although I never had problems with it before. Because when I plug this in into the USB extension cord, didn't correctly work, or it didn't work correctly, would be an English sentence. Thank you very much. Uh, the start, Y and L button didn't send a continuous signal. So when you hold it down, it's supposed to light up. It should send a signal once. But in this case, I had a problem with these three buttons. Uh, you hold it down and it goes on, off, on, off, on, off. Just for no apparent reason. Then I plugged it in again into the same cable a little tighter and it worked. And then I plugged it into the computer itself and it worked perfectly. So yeah, false alarm. I thought it was, you know, because it says made in China. I thought it was, you know, bleh, cheap Chinese shit. But no, it's it's not. It, it works great. It's light because it doesn't have a, a rumble feature because that didn't exist in the Super Nintendo era. I bought this on Amazon through a partner shop in Japan for 10 bucks and a shipping of 3 euro and 60 cents which is really cheap especially coming from Japan to Austria so yeah now that I know it works perfectly I'm very happy with it I play uh, Super Nintendo Nintendo and Game Boy Advanced emulators with it and I also tried it with a modern game Race the Sun which I made a video about a long time ago and it works perfectly on all of those you, yeah, I don't need the turbo and the clear button. You cannot bind these. They don't show up as buttons in the, what's it called? Uh, the control panel on Windows. They just don't show up. I think they're just repeaters. So don't know how they work. Don't really care. I'm just going to clear everything. So yeah, Super Nintendo controller. It's not that complicated. It's really simple. It looks good. It's it's really nice in the hand. The buttons work well and it's cheap. So if you use games that can let you change the buttons and don't need that many buttons, this thing is perfect. I love it. I might even order a second one. I don't know yet. But yeah, short review, nice product like it very much glad i bought it uh, yeah thank you for watching this video if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video then if you have to please give it a thumbs down and tell me in the comment what do you think about a controller like this it obviously does not say nintendo or super nintendo or anything like that because copyright and that's also the reason why i don't want to show you any you know recorded gameplay footage from like the Super Nintendo because Nintendo's a bitch when it comes to copyright. So yeah, too bad. But yeah, nice controller, works. 
It was here in 10 days, by the way. So they sent it away on May 2nd, and today is the 12th. So 10 days from Japan to Austria with, you know, uh, postage costs of three euros sixty. I don't mind that. I like to wait for things if they're cheap. So yeah, great controller. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Oliver here at Vienna Gamer, and I will see you in the next video.